What's up, YouTube, and ho ho ho, it is Christmas time, and I'm Domino. Welcome to our Sun and Moon anime review of episode 51. Now, we had said this in the last video, but we were gone for about a month, and after watching episode 51, I... <laughs> this episode is so great. I'm just ready to get into it. I'm just ready to get into it. I'm just ready to get into it. Um, but anyway, if you watched this episode, make sure you let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of it was. If you wind up enjoying this review, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to be a member of the domination of the Pokemon community. I'm jumping straight in. This episode was freaking awesome. Now, when it started off with the whole problem of the day or question of the day that they do, and Kahuna Hala was the one doing it, you knew something was about to go down. But the game is still at Aether. If we remember the last episode, Lusamine got taken away. And the whole group is shaken by it. Lily falls to her knees, etc, etc. Burnett asks Faba why he used the machine without her approval. And he says, it's not my fault. It was Lusamine's idea. Um, Gladion um, tells Ash that this is a family issue and that Ash should stop being involved. That Gladion and Lily, or I guess Gladion, he's thinking Gladion himself is going to go save Lusamine. Burnett says they can't open a wormhole there. They have to find a different way, but they don't know how. Ash picks up Cosmo him. I don't get it. Um, Burnett mentions signs of evolution, but then plays it off when asks about it. And then the intro happens. I'm rushing this because, man, this episode is so good. I just want to get to the good part. Um, the episode is called um, something like Lily's Full of Effort and Effortful, Effortful Lily, a Determined Runaway Act. That's what it's called. Um, so the group is flying back on the private jet. That's the three of them were, that were at Aether Paradise. That's Ash, Lily, and Gladion. They're all flying back. And Lily and Gladion sitting on opposite sides of Ash are obviously upset that their mother just got taken away. And uh, as they're kind of wrapping up, they get back home. Ash says that he'll see Lily at school in the morning. Well, that night, Lily undergoes her form change. She takes off her hat. She fixes up her hair, puts in the butt, or puts, puts in the little ponytail thing that she had going on in the show or in the game, and then she starts to climb out her window. To which Gladion knocks at the door and says, "I'm coming in." And Gladion walks straight in, not not a second to uh, just walk straight in and calls her out. It says he knows what you, I know what you're gonna go do. You're trying to find an ultra wormhole. You're trying to go save Mother. He says you don't know where to go, do you? But I do. And so Gladion says, I'm going to go save Mother. You're not going to help. Lily blocks the door and says, you're not the only one that cares about Mother. I'm going too. It's a cute little scene that happens. But Savali winds up taking both of them off um, in the middle of the night to go find Mother. The next day at the Pokemon school, Ash and Gang are looking at Cosmo, who's sitting on the edge of Cosmo, or uh, at the ends of, little, 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 edge of Ash's, Ash's desk's desk oh gosh and ash explains to the group what happened the day before that's when the group realizes that lily didn't show up for school well james lily's butler shows up with kukui and they oh no lily's not here what's going on and apparently lily and gladion are both gone and james suggests that gladion might have known where to go to do an ultra wormhole thing so Kukui suggests asking Kahuna Hala. Like I said, you knew something was going to go down. So the gang heads to Hala's house and they're sitting there and his... You know, I'd forgotten, like when the episode started, I'd forgotten that Ash has already fought Kahuna Hala. I forgot that was a thing. That was so long ago. Um, but anyway, they're sitting there and Hariyama is chilling behind him with his fat self. And uh, Ash explains the story to Hala while Pikachu is holding Cosmo. I don't get it. Like, Pikachu's, like, trying to shake it. Like, look at this. See this thing back here, right over here? How's this thing gonna hold Cosmo in? One of the heaviest po- I don't get it. Um, but anyway. Ash explains the story that's been passed down from Kahuna to Kahuna. That's the legend of Solgaleo. And Ash recalls his dream that he had about 10 episodes ago, or whenever it was, before Nebby came along. Um, and Hala tells Ash that he was dreaming about the Altar of the Sun. So the Altar of the Sun is the one that's on Pony Island, which I guess that means that's canon. So Ultra Sun is canon. 
which would mean the altar of the moon is the one that's off Route 16 before Poe Town. That would make, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. And Ash suggests, let's all go to the altar. Now, I do kind of wish that it was just Ash, but I'll get to that in a second. Now, this is where things get freaking cool. Gladion and Lily are seen on Pony Island. And they go through this whole, we're together on this, etc., etc. The whole group heads off, like this is Ash and everybody heads off towards Pony Island. Like I said, I just, I wish it was just Ash. And then the theme that plays was like a remix of something. It was awesome. Uh, but anyway, Lily and Gladion are going through and they see these statues of the three starters next to each other. And Lily assumes like, hey, I've read about this. You got to push these into where their respective types and then the door will open. Well, Gladion goes, whoa, 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 what you doing? What you doing? Hold on. Gladion walks up to the door and just pushes it open and the door just opens. And he tells Sylvalli like, hey, go move the statue that Lily was trying to move. Gladion's trying to prove a point. So Sylvalli moves out of the way and spikes shoot up from under it. And if whoever would have been standing there would have been killed. Like, is this still Pokemon? Like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Oh, uh, anyway. Gladion seems to know a lot at this point. So then they get, you know, they get a little more through the vast Pony Canyon. Do you know where this is going? And Lily, they see, a, they walk up to a bridge, but the bridge isn't there. So Lily says, oh, I've read about this. It must be an invisible bridge and tries to spread dirt on it. And there's nothing there. But Lily tells Gladion to get on. So Valley jumps across. Okay, cool. Um, this is where Gladion reveals that he had read a bunch of documents for an Aether to gain the knowledge that he knows. And Lily feels like um, she's slowing him down and says that I'll leave if you want me to. And Gladion says, no, we're in this together. Nothing will be different if you go back, etc, etc, etc. Now, it gets to the end where Lily runs towards the stairs. Do you remember what happens in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon before the stairs to the altar? Oh, it happened. Oh, it happened. Oh! As Lily's running, Silvali starts to notice something is there, and it's Jagmo'o, and it's Hakamo'o, and it was freaking cool! And yes, and yes, Totem Kamo'o was there, Komo'o was here, which I'm, I haven't made the thumbnail for this one yet, but I'm just imagining. I can't imagine a world where Komo'o is not on the thumbnail for this video. Silvalli versus Komo'o, Alolan Vulpix versus uh, Jangmo'o and Hakamo'o. Cool. So, they're struggling, right? Because it's Komo'o, the best Pokemon in Gen 7. So, what is a Silvalli? But Lily suggests, hey, Gladion, you should change Silvalli's type to a fairy type. Woo, smart. So, he grabs his little fairy memory, and before he can throw it, Jangmo'o knocks it out of his hand. Let's freaking go, Jangmo'o. The memory slides underneath. Como o and it's like right in between his legs, like right under him. And then plot armor ensues. Vulpix makes an ice path for Gladion and Silvalli to slide underneath Como o and grab the fairy memory, throwing it at him as Como o released what I assume was Klangora Scales or whatever that move's called. Uh, I think it's Klangora Scales. And Silvalli emerges as a fairy type, and Gladion's doing his whole his whole. Thing, and he's like, this doesn't affect a fairy type. And multi-attack, multi -attack, a single multi-attack takes Komo'o down. Dumb. So as they go to escape the cave, the cave starts to collapse on them. And right before Lily gets smacked in the head with a boulder, Pikachu's Electro Ball bursts through, saves the day. Now, they get out the cave. The whole gang is there. Everybody is literally there. And Lily says, why are you here? And Ash goes, well, we all want to save your mother. And Gladion goes, didn't I tell you this was a family man? Or what's his voice? Didn't I tell you this was a family man? Um, and Ash goes, well, they share, you share everything on Alola, right? So how about we all share in your family matter? And then how did I know that next, this next episode I'm about to watch is going to be amazing? They get to the top of the stairs and Tapu Koko steals Ash's hat off of his head. Puts it back on him. That was weird. But then calls all the other Tapus. All four Tapus are there. Rotom's taking all kinds of pictures. Things are wild. I'm ready to watch the next episode. So we're wrapping up right there. 
This episode was amazing. Again, if you watched this episode, let me know what your favorite part was in the comments below. And if it's not, if it's not the Komo'o part, and ugh, it was just amazing. But anyway, I've got to get on to the next episode. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to be a part of the domination of the Pokemon community, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. We'll see you in a couple days for the next Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. Until then, have a blessed day.